many soldiers joined the new Marine Corps. They removed their old army green fatigues and replaced them with navy blues. They left the cities behind them and instead faced the wide expanse of the sea. Under the noon sun, a group of soldiers are reviewing a recent exercise. With its land, sea and submarine capabilities, the Marine Corps is undoubtedly a powerful amphibious force. Zhuang Xiang Wei and his colleagues have just finished a three-day exercise. Though they're exhausted, they have a lot to say regarding the various aspects of the exercise. The island landing, the island defense, and jungle combat. <laughs> Meanwhile, deep in the desert, several new combat units are making their mark. They include electronic countermeasures and special operations forces. They are deploying new organizational structures, new technologies, new tactics, and new capabilities. For the first time in Chinese military history, conventional land forces now make up less than 50% of the military. The number of non-combat personnel has been almost halved, and the officer strength has been reduced by 30%. Several new words and phrases are being heard for the first time in discussions on the military. Combined brigades, air assault brigades, aircraft carrier battle groups, paratroopers, rocket force, strategic support force, joint logistics support force. Guided by Xi Jinping thought on strengthening the military, the PLA is committed to reform and innovation. After a thousand days and nights, what has been described as the most ambitious military reform in history had achieved its aims. Revolutionary changes had transformed the PLA's organizational structure, strength, composition, and political system.